I got to be honest with you, I did not see this coming. So Disney's got a bigger problem than uh, just a terrible movie in Snow White. It seems like Rachel Zegler's fans are very upset and very angry that she's sharing the screen with Gal Gadot. But before we get into the video, could you do me a massive favor and please hit the subscribe button. It's a free thing that you could do that helps out the channel. And don't forget to check out my brand new Rebel Scum shirt available at Nine Line Apparel. It's only available for like eight more days and then it's gone forever. Use code DRUNK3PO20 to save on everything in the store. The link will be in the pinned comment and in the top of the description. Now let's get into this. As soon as Disney released the Snow White teaser trailer for Snow White with Rachel Zegler and Gail Gadot, posts like this have been appearing all over social media and not just Twitter too, TikTok, Instagram, and some YouTube videos. Look at this one right here. This one says, free her as Gal's arm is wrapped around Rachel Zegler. You can see that people are starting to get a little upset at this relationship, and I had to figure out what the heck is going on. Well, it wasn't too long ago that Rachel Zegler came out in support of Palestine and posted some things on her social media while everyone knows where Gal Gadot stands. She was born in Israel. I don't need to get into an entire political discussion. So now the internet is angry that Rachel Zegler has to share the screen with a horrible, terrible person as Gal Gadot. This post right here is already at 5.7 million views, and it was posted at 12.30 a.m. August 11th. Rachel Zegler cannot stand her. The press tour is going to be challenging for her. And I can't even show you some of the replies in the comment section about this. Totally destroying Wonder Woman, going after Gal Gadot, just saying how horrible of a person she is and that she should be an evil queen. It fits her perfectly because that's who she is while Rachel is our queen. And here is just a few of them, ones that I could show on YouTube as she should. No one likes that ugly Zionist. I feel bad for Rachel. She deserves better. Uh, Gal Gadot's totally obliviousness makes this even funnier. Rachel will always be one of the most talented young actors to emerge, while Gal will remain a bad person unless she changes and develops empathy in the future. I mean, these were the nice ones. Let me put it to you that way. They are even showing up to comment on a post that Gal Gadot made after the D23 Expo. Thank you for having us, D23. It's got a picture of her and Rachel together. The first comment, Gal Gadot as the evil queen fits her perfectly, trying to kill a child and steal her kingdom like Israel is doing. Too bad for her. The kid wins in the end. This person writes, looking forward to the press tour consisting of Gal Gadot and openly pro-Palestine Rachel Zegler. I bet you are. Can we cast Rachel Zegler in a movie where her co-star isn't a bad person? Please. And I mean, look at the response here. 43,000 impressions all chanting, yes, yeah, Gal Gadot's a terrible person. Rachel's a good person. It's wild out there, I tell you. Wild. Yeah, here's uh, here's another banger for you. Defending Rachel Zegler on the internet is not enough. I need a... You see it? You see what the guy's holding? You see what she's saying? Yeah, now nah, that's how wild it is out there. <laughs> Man, what is wrong with these people? <laughs> I don't know. Um, please seek some help. Please. I mean, it doesn't end there. There are TikToks being made as we speak of people saying you need to pray for Rachel because she's got to stand next to this human being. This photo right here is uh, being blasted on certain sites saying, look at Rachel's face. She's uncomfortable. She doesn't want to be around her. Get her out of there. Free her. Help her. Save her. I mean, I'm just like, uh, as if 
as if Disney doesn't have enough problems with this movie that looks like an AI film made an AI film. Now they might have to deal with this because you know there's going to be some wild woke reporter out there that's going to be like, hey, y'all two are together. Can I ask you a question? Um, you're pro-Palestine and you're pro-Israel. How did y'all get along in the film? There's rumors out there now of people saying, oh, you know, you know, it was ugly behind the scenes with them two working together. You know, it was absolutely terrible and miserable for Rachel. Um, it just goes on and on. So hey, let me just play you one of the tick. Sorry. I know people, they cringe when they see TikTok videos around here, but just let me play you one, at least so you get an example of what's happened. Let us all keep our good sister, Rachel's at Glam Prayer this Sunday. Nothing bad happened to her. She kicked out the Snow White press tour last night, and now she has to go on a press room with Gal Gadot for the next seven months. If you aren't aware, it's, I don't know how you aren't already aware, Rachel has been very vocal about Palestine for the last few years, and especially now, to the point where she even called out the industry for their silence and performative activism. And I know for those posts, I know that she probably have to deal with Disney, who has been very problematic during all of this as well as god Godot, a literal ios barbie and i feel like i'm gonna have to make multiple posts about this as we get to the release date of the film rachel is at work she gotta be civil we do not know what she had to put up with behind the scenes from her alone this movie comes out next year in march unless the release date gets pushed again she has to deal with her for at least seven months okay tell me what do you guys think see rachel zegler is everything that hollywood wants in a young actress she has pronouns in her bio she always puts up the right flag when it's uh convenient or it's trending she does all those things remember rachel started she literally started the hate campaign against gina carano oh yeah that's right uh i don't know if you guys remember that one but uh she did that and uh so yeah I mean, she might not even believe any of this stuff. She just might post it because that's what people asked her to do. I mean, who knows? So now, because of this woke ideology that she keeps pushing on her social media, now she's probably going to have to deal with this type of backlash, this type of questioning that uh, her and Gal were fighting and that she can't stand her, that she hates her. So then what's going to happen if she comes out and says, no, 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 Gal is awesome. We're good friends. You know, we're together. So are all those people then, you know, that thought she was the conquering hero and all this, are they going to turn on her as well and say, I'm not watching your dumb movie now. You're a liar. You're this. You don't support anything. You just breathe in the wind, whatever, whatever. Um, that's what happens when you cater, when you cater to whatever's trending, because eventually it catches up to you. So there's two roads that's going to happen. Either she's going to have to come out and say, yeah, I don't agree with Gal. Yeah, I know I work with her, but I don't agree with her. And, uh, you know, quite frankly, it was a terrible experience where all these weirdos online can cheer. Or she's going to say, oh, no, it was a pleasant experience. Then everyone online is going to boo. She is in a lose-lose situation. And that is exactly where you find yourself when you are not yourself. So we're going to keep an eye on this story and see exactly where this goes wild stuff man all over snow white <laughs> wild stuff out there as if disney doesn't have enough problems hey you did it to yourself you did it to yourself all right let me know your thoughts in the comment section below do me a favor hit a like and uh this is jay <laughs> and we will catch you next time